So what should marketing do? This is a question that I ask a lot of people in, in seminars and they'll say things like get our name out there or build a brand or generate awareness. And I don't think marketing should do any of that. My type of marketing is about generating results because marketing should facilitate and accelerate the sales process by attracting right fit prospects, pre-selling them and predisposing them to do business with you. Sales and marketing are not two entirely separate functions. They should work together. Marketing is the beginning of the sales process. So I think a lot of people think marketing and they think postcards or websites, but marketing really is about picking a strategic market, developing a unique selling proposition. What is your value proposition to the marketplace? It's more strategic than that. And I, and I hope if one of the things I hope to convey to you on this webinar is you stop thinking mar like marketing, like it's a department, number one, and number two, understand that there's a, a, a much more important layer of strategy that has to go in it. Business strategy. Who is my customer? What is our business model? Wh what is our strategic play in a crowded marketplace where there's tons of other MSPs out there, or other IT firms? What, what are we going to offer the marketplace that they can't get right now? Because think about this, and I'm this is something I really want you to think about. Your best customers are all in an agreement or in some sort of relationship with another IT firm, right? They are because a buyer's a buyer's a buyer. If they outsource their IT support, they're not sitting around with their finger in their belly button going, gee, I don't know where to find an IT company. That's not what's going on. They have an IT company. You know, whether they're doing a good job and they like them, that's a whole other discussion. But when you go knock on doors and you're trying to get people to outsource to you, it's not like a bunch of newbies who never heard of IT before. They have an IT person or they have an IT company. What are you going to do? What is your marketing? What's your strategic play? That's part of your marketing plan. And nobody thinks about it that way. They just think they want the postcard or they want the, the, the telemarketing script or they want the website or they want the pay-per-click or they want the social media ads. And they never really get, they, they're doing this, these tactics, these pot shots. And this is why they struggle. And they also don't have a marketing plan. They have what I call the vulture marketing plan, which is you basically wait for something to die in front of you, like another MSP screws up and they die or a server goes down or something. And the prospect is desperate, so they reach out to a bunch of people. So you're like waiting for something to die and then you go jump on the carcass and peck at it with all the other vultures. That is not the best way to run a marketing plan, obviously. And that's this is what this is how most MSPs operate. And that might explain why when we did a survey of 1700 plus MSPs and we asked them, how many leads do you generate in a month? Look at this, 76% or I'm sorry, 75% are generating less than one lead per month. I mean, think about that. Now that's a bigger problem than the obvious because one, when you don't get a lot of leads coming in, you really get horribly ineffective at closing sales because you don't get practice. I currently run a sales and an MSP champion sales accountability group. And we are we build playbooks. We talk to our MSP members. There's about, I don't know, 50 people in this group, different MSPs. And we talk about specifically how do you close sales? How do you overcome objections? How do you confirm appointments? How do you present price? All the things, right? And the thing that, that one, a lot of them are struggling with is they're not getting enough leads. So even though they know how to close a sale, unless you get practice, you're not going to be good at that. So um, because you don't get good practice, you end up selling on price because you don't really have a presentation plan or a sales playbook to closing a sale. You know, And that's the reality. So then you see 10% close rates, which is abysmal. It's re that's really, really bad. You can't confidently hire new techs because you get into this feast or famine. So you get into, we're really busy, we're running hot. We really could use another engineer. We could use some more help, but we can't afford them because the minute I hire that person, my profitability goes to nothing. And I don't have the business quite yet to hire this person and cover their salary, but I desperately need help. And so you're in this, you're, you burn hot and then you hire somebody and then your profitability goes to zero. And so where you, the reason you want to get your sales and marketing dialed in is because if you know you're going to add two customers a month and you can trust your marketing to be delivering one to two customers a month, then you can get ahead of hiring because you know the money's going to be there. 
You don't wait until you're so desperate and so underwater and so buried that you basically will hire the first person who could fog a mirror, which is not good because then you, you exacerbate your problems. Cause now you got, maybe they're good. Maybe they're not. You got a new person. You're trying to onboard them. It's like trying to lay the track in front of the train as you're rolling along. It's really difficult. So this is another reason why you want to get this marketing plan in place. You become desperate. You end up taking anything that can, you know, wave a dollar bill at you and you go, okay, so you end up taking on clients and opportunities you ought to say no to. And that even sucks up more time and resources. And then the other thing that you're at high risk is because you don't have any reliable systems in place to get new clients. If you lose one, no fault of your own, maybe they get acquired. Um, and your best clients, that's probably how you're going to lose them. They're going to get acquired right now. m and hot. And you don't have any way of replacing that income. And now you're desperate. So again, I, and you think it won't happen to you. I'm telling you, this happens all the time. Somebody has a client that is their best client and they lose them. And it represents 40% of their income, 30% of their income, 80% of their, their revenue. And they're not in a long-term contract and they cancel and next month they're, they're out and they're still holding all the licenses for the software. They still have all the engineers and techs and you have all that overhead and you don't have any marketing systems in place to replace that income quickly. I mean, you're, you're, you're hurting for a while. You're, you're going into debt um, or you're having to lay people off or you're having to deliver, you know, um, you know, lay people off or go into debt or go into credit card or you're just scrambling. You see what I mean? Like that, it's not a good thing. So bottom line, if you want to grow your business and you want to be consistent, you got to have a marketing plan in place. It's just as simple as that. And you got to have a way of bringing in clients consistently, predictably, and of course, cost effectively.